because we don't want to accidentally go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the way this works is anytime you want to open one of these new features here, right, it goes up here in the top half of the screen. If you want to put something down here, you simply grab it first, and then you can choose top or bottom right here. Or you can just drag this icon to wherever you want it, so it's very intuitively designed. You know, if you know how to use an iPhone or iPad, you can pretty much figure out how to work this thing in about five minutes. Now certain screens, like your nav, if it's already open, you give it a second tap, goes full screen. Same thing with your web. Open it up with two taps and it opens up full screen. It's a fully functional web browser just like on an iPad. You do have a 3G SIM card in the car so as long as you have that 3G signal you have access to all this kind of data. Okay. Now let's say we want to go somewhere. Let's go to Starbucks here. So this pulls in all the data from Google so you have all your Starbucks in the area. Now let's say we want to go to this one here. So now if you have your phone connected to the car, you can just call them, you know, kind of see if they're still open. Uh, or you can just navigate there. So here you get your traditional Google map view where north is always oriented up. Uh -huh. Now over there next to your speedometer, that's where you get your more traditional 3D view like you would uh, on a traditional nav system. So you can actually come back over here at this point. Oops. You can cover up your maps over here with other information, but you still have your, your maps over there, your 3D view. Now when you're not navigating somewhere, let's cancel out of here, now to the left and right of your speedometer, you can choose what information you want, you want to display there. It's fully customizable there as well. The way you control that is with these, these wheels on the steering wheel over there. What you do is you hold it down, so or wait, till you, wait till that goes away, now you hold down the button, so your menu pops up. Now you can scroll up or down. You can let go. Oh. Yep. Or hold it down. There you go. Now you can scroll up or down. You can choose what information you want to display over there. So now since media was already open here, when you choose, or sorry, energy was already open mm -hmm. here, when you choose energy there, it just flips the two sides. Rafa, what do you think? It's asombroso. It's incredible. Es un automóvil totalmente geek. Yeah, now when you're not controlling your menu there, scrolling will control your volume. So just scroll it. Or before you do the menu, wait till it goes away. Now scroll it. That's your volume now. When you press the button, it mutes everything. And then above and below, that goes to the next and previous tracks. Or if you're listening to the radio, cycles through your radio stations. Now this one over here, same thing. You hold it down. That controls your menu, right? Let's turn that down. Now, when you're not controlling your menu over here on this side, this one's customizable. Right now, you're controlling your display yeah, brightness. You can uh -huh. also have it control things like your sunroof. So now, when I scroll here, close the sunroof. Ah, va a cerrar el. Yeah, perfecto. Or I can open it back up. So this one here is fully customizable. Do your climate control, temperature. So very intuitively designed, very well integrated.